Rahul, interesting how things are playing out in Rajya Sabha. Expected lines and numbers are going to, in all probability, lie with uh, the NDA. But going from here on, do you see the fight in Supreme Court being long and protracted? Nothing that's going to come off anytime soon? See, Priti, uh, one can't comment on how long the proceedings in the court can, uh, can take because uh, one doesn't want to prejudge the mind of the courts. But the fact is that given the current law, if it becomes a uh, bill, if it becomes a law, I see a certain amount of problem for Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party and advantage BJP. And I think a con complete breakdown between the center and the Delhi government. Why I say that, you see, it does not, uh, you know, the bureaucracy and the systems don't follow the constitution or the rule book. Uh, bureaucracy always functions by understanding where the powers lie. The bureaucrats in this country operate on the basis that where the butter on their bread actually comes from. Now, the appointing authority is the center. Uh, the deciding authority is the LG appointee of this center. The punishing authority, the probing authority, the vigilance authority, everything is the right. center. Now, in that scenario, the, center, the bureaucracy's loyalties will lie more with the center. True. And that's not a very happy situation. Well, it's got, you know, whatever one might say or uh, suggest at this point of time, you have the Aam Aadmi Party and the Delhi Chief Minister in a corner once this becomes a law. We're going to expect to hear from him shortly after we see the bill in all probability be passed in Rajya Sabha. Once again, let's try and connect to Charu Pragya, uh, who is trying to make her point. Charu, if you can hear us, please go ahead. Yeah, I can hear you. Am I audible now? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. So, yeah, I just wanted to make two uh, points very clear. First of all, a democratically elected representative voting in parliament for any bill makes it democratic. I don't understand what this whole human cry is about. And secondly, tell me one instance in Delhi where the, the city of Delhi was functioning as a full state. That's never happened. Delhi is a union territory. And because it is the capital of the country, it has a chief minister in place, which none of the other union territories do. But please understand it is a union territory. Your whims and fancies is not going to change that. And if that is what you need to challenge, why don't you go to the Supreme Court asking for that aspect to be changed instead of complaining? Today, you are debating in parliament because it suits you. You do not want to debate on any other issue but let's see how your so-called alliance holds after this specific vote because you know there has been mixed reactions from MPs of political parties that are um, kind of supporting you otherwise so you also had to take a stand and say that we'll be a part of IA only if you speak out against the ordinance it's not really happened not completely so I'm also going to wait no, but, and okay. watch whoever this, is but in the alliance, really okay. imbalance. whoever is in been in the alliance, Charu Pragya has spoken up for the Aam Aadmi Party, be it the Congress who was sitting on the fence uh, for a while. They've spoken out vociferously, both in the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. And we'll know today once the vote comes to a pass. Reena Gupta, please respond. You've always been a union territory. What's the hue and cry right now? We've always been a union territory with a legislative assembly. And Article 239AA gives Delhi the powers, the Le Delhi Legislative Assembly some powers. It gives some powers to the central government, which has been always very clear, Preeti. But I'll give you an example. Tomorrow, if there is a problem with electricity in your house, or there's a problem with water in your house, whom will you go to? Will you go to the Babu and say, will you go to the LG? Are the LG's doors open to the general public of Delhi? We've always gone to our elected representatives for these small problems. Now with this new change, we will have nobody to go to because the Babus will continue to get paid even if they don't do the job. If our MLAs, our elected representatives are not doing their job, we had the option of voting okay. them out in five years. We don't have that option anymore. And okay. this is not just Delhi Preeti, the point which was being discussed in the parliament, the reason everybody from various political parties spoke is because everybody is okay. sure that once but okay, I'm going to go into a quick Delhi, break, but Charu Pragya, I want to get you in on one very quick orders. aspect of it all. 2014, this was part uh, of your own manifesto when Delhi went into election in 2013. You've had the Prime Minister, you've had LK Advani, you've had even Mr. Vajpayee ji come out and propose exactly what the Aam Aadmi Party is fighting for in Parliament today. 
Yes, and I realize Am Aadmi Party continues to quote that at us. But uh, at the same time, we've got uh, evidence. We've got RTI replies which have been sent to us by people you. who are working in the government, and these RTI replies show us that there has been massive misappropriation of funds. There have been utilization of funds which is for the benefit of the people of okay. Delhi, which is being used elsewhere. And those things you have to be responsible for. Now you are okay, okay I'm uh, gonna... to keep a okay, that's on. even though he's in jail endlessly for months but that's the other one because it suits you 